Guys, hi, happy Monday. The weather in Arkansas was beautiful today. Sunshine, it's teasing us. It's that fall spring, but I loved it. I always have amazing energy. But my name is Katherine Jones. I'm an Emerald in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I don't know if you watch Super Saturday or if you attended it in person, but this whole social, social wellness club idea was launched and talked about during Super Saturday. And then if you've been following some of the network marketing voices like Bob Heilig or Kristen Boss, they're starting to talk about a shift in our industry in 2024 regarding in-person events, cultivating community, and that it's really going to be the difference maker in your success. And I was so excited that this was starting to talk about because I am a connector. I am a relationship small group gal, and that's what I'm good at. And so to hear that this shift is happening, I thought, I can do this. And one of the best models that does this for us is Diamond Melody Hobbyist, my friend. And what's really amazing, and you're going to hear from her tonight, is she was doing this before it was a thing. Okay. <laughs> she has the most incredible community. Um, she cultivates relationships, everything from sourdough workshops, if she if you're following her right now, to boot camp, to walking clubs, to Christmas parties. Um, she thrives on in-person connections and events. And that has what that's what she's leveraged to create a legacy diamond business. And so she is going to take over tonight and just tell us what has worked for her, what she's seeing with her own team and why she's the trendsetter <laughs> that we need to be following. Thank you, <laughs> Melody, for joining us. Hey, everybody. All right. So I have to be really honest right now. I told Catherine, I have to take a nap before I can get on this call. And true story at eight o'clock, my alarm went off and my mother called because we live on the back of their farm. And I had put some um, support stockings on her today for some swelling and she couldn't get her socks off. So I had to go up there and take her socks off. So I'm awake now. <laughs> All right, so let me give you a little bit of background. One, I love people. I love people. I'm a registered nurse by trade. I spent 14 years in labor and delivery. Um, so that's a little bit of my background there. But I started my boot camp fitness business in 2009, and I had that business for eight years. So this sets this is setting up for where I am now. So back then, we did support groups, right, to help people learn. And, you know, at the time, I really didn't understand what I was doing, but I knew it was something that obviously people needed. And at the end of our sessions, we always had an evaluation because we had these get fit programs, we called them. Um, you know, everybody always remarked about the support groups. They loved the support groups. And I thought, you know, okay, whatever, you know, that's good. Well, then when I started Plexus, one of my very first conversations was from a friend who used to come to my boot camp, And she said, Mel, are you going to have meetings at your house again? Because I did. I had people over, we did cooking classes, we did all kinds of things. And I thought, Okay, well, I've never done network marketing before, but I guess you can do meetings with network marketing. So I thought, why not? And if you've been around me at all for the last six or nine months, that's been my tagline is why not? In fact, I traveled seven hours to Miss Lisa's house with a carload of people when she was doing an event because I thought, why not? Let's pop in and show her what community is really all about. And you know, the other thing, and I'll tell you about this because I took a little trip over the weekend. Guess what? You don't have to be on somebody's team to support their community, right? Get outside the box and build that community across this family, this Plexus family, get to know other people. And when I started Plexus, I didn't start for myself. I, I started with, for my, my health and then I shared it with my family. And then I decided, okay, I need to tell people about this. Right. And all these people started friending me and people were commenting on my post. And I thought, where, who are these people? Where did they come from? And I learned like, wow, this is really cool. Because when I had my own boot camp, it was just me. I was, you know, it was just me and 
me and a few friends. I thought, but I started making posts about Plexus and these people I've never met before. Many of you or some of them I've never met still five and a half years later. So I really thought, wow, that's really, really cool. But yes, I did not start my business at home. I'm in Kentucky. I was actually living with my daughter uh, 10 hours away in Georgia and launched by business from her little apartment. And as soon as I got home in August of 2018 that year, the National Sip and See, Plexus Corporate was doing a National Sip and See. So I signed up and I had all these people at my house and they streamed into my living room. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. Okay. So from the very beginning, I've had something going on every week, every month. We would sit around my kitchen table because we learned together. I would turn, I would call corporate and put it on speakerphone because people had questions. I was, let's just call corporate and ask them because I didn't have all the answers. We're always learning. We're always growing. But that was in the early days, right around my kitchen table, bringing people over. You know, there were many times I'd say, hey, let's have, let's have a meeting. People didn't show up. Do you think I stopped having meetings? No, I thought, well, that's not a good day. We're going to have another, we'll try this day. How about this day? And then you're like, oh, okay, let's have, let's do some giveaways. Hey, if you come over, I'll put your name in a hat and you could win something. So that's how, that's how that happens is bringing people together, showing people that you care. And here's the thing, whether it's life or business, what do you need? You need people. You need people. You cannot move forward in your goals, especially in your business goals, unless you have people. And one of the very first things when I posted about Plexus, because I was not a supplement person, I was an anti-supplement person. And when I made that post, I knew it was sink or swim. But one of the biggest things people told me back then and still today is that they trusted me. Well, how did they trust me? I had built trust with people over those years in boot camp, building a network on social media. You know, a lot of those people just followed me. They never came to boot camp. It wasn't their thing, but they enjoyed following along, whether it was something I posted or just encouragement or something like that. And then some of those people did join me on Plexus because, okay, that was something that they they could do, but people need people, people need community. So if you are not doing events, if you are not gathering people, I encourage you to start like yesterday, yesterday. So you're already behind, but we, we can move forward here. I encourage you to get started at convention last year. We did a break. We did a breakout on build it and they will come build it and they will come because people, especially with what we do, they want to know that you truly care about them, that you're not just selling them something and checking a box and moving on to the next person. They really want to know, does this person care about me? Because it took me two years to decide if Plexus was for me, two years of scrolling Facebook. So people watch you, believe me, people watch you more than you will ever think they watch you. So you need to give them something to watch because guess what? Your business partner, your future jewel or running partner, they're watching you right now. So what are you putting out there on your newsfeed, in your story? How are you allowing them to get to know you? And part of that is, are you fun? You gotta be fun. People are attracted to fun. I am dead serious. People are attracted to fun. So Catherine mentioned sourdough. I tripped on sour. I seriously tripped on sourdough back in November while scrolling TikTok. Let me just preface this. I was scrolling TikTok. I didn't see it anywhere else but on TikTok. And it was a challenge to me. I'm a little competitive. I'm a, I, I love a little competition. And I thought, I wonder if I can do that. I'm not a big cook. My mom makes fun of me all the time. She's a wonderful cook. So this was kind of a funny thing that I would be baking sourdough. 
but I took it on as a challenge and grew my starter from, well, from the start, from the start. I took those things camping with me on a heating pad, the whole nine yards. I babysat them things for two weeks. And so, in fact, somebody said, I'll take care of them for you. Oh, no, you won't. I'm taking care of them myself. So I grew those starters. And then all of a sudden, here we go. We're on a sourdough journey. And holy cow, God is in this story. I'm going to tell you that right now. God is in this story because it started the end of November. I started baking in December. The week of Christmas, I baked over 50 loaves of sourdough bread. Who in the heck am I? And people loved it. I didn't even know sourdough was a thing, you guys. And then found another TikTok. Hey, did you know sourdough is good for your gut health? Who would have thought? Didn't know that either. So here, what do you do? What do we do? We share. So what do I do? I put it on the social media. Hey, I'm doing this sourdough thing. You guys, my newsfeed, my posts, are they blow up over sourdough. I've now had five classes to teach people how to do sourdough. And I just started. I just started myself. So you don't have to be good to start. Have you heard this? Am I repeating something you've heard over and over and over again? You don't have to be good to start. You just have to start to be good. Did you write that down? And there's different slangs to that. You don't have to be good at it. You just have to be ready and passionate about it. What do I post about every single day on my newsfeed and in my story? Sourdough, sourdough sourdough. I had 24 people in my living room on Thursday. And guess what? Some of those people I hadn't seen in years. Some of them used to do plexus with me. Some of them used to do boot camp with me. Some of them I used to go to high school with, you know, how fun is that to have people come around or come back into your circle because of something new that you have found that you're passionate about, and they want to be a part of it. People want to be a part of you and your circle and your community. You just have to keep finding ways to attract people to you. So you have to ask yourself, what are you doing right now? What have you done in the past 30, 60, 90 days to help build your community, build your audience? Your audience is your community. Your community is your audience, right? And what happens? People say, hey, have you seen what she's doing? Hey, have you, go go over there and look and see what she's doing. Let, let's go, let's go do this. Let's go meet up for a walking group with what, you know, I want to do that. I need to work out. Hey, they, they work, they work out every morning at Planet Fitness. Let's go join them. Hey, she's having a sourdough class. Let's go do that. You know, put out, invite people. If you've been with Plexus for any amount of years, I joined in 2018. My first Super Saturday was January, 2019. I'll never forget. That's when they launched. Send, share, invite. Send, share, invite. So what do you do? You send people messages of encouragement, right? That's how you also help your algorithm and how they get to know you is through messaging. So send the message. Share, share about all the things that make you, you. Yes. When I started Plexus, I puked Plexus all over my newsfeed, but you know, times five and a half years later, I share all kinds of things that make me who I am. Have you seen my glasses? That's another thing. Attract people to you. Pineapples. People know me for pineapples. People know me for my classes. People know me now for sourdough. So it's what you put out will come back, but you have to, you have to want to talk to people because that's the relationship part of what we do is that they're building trust in you. They want to be a part of what you're doing. So next month I'm having our very first, we are family retreat in Gatlinburg, 48 people, half of them sidelines. And we're going to get together and get to know each other, have fun. Uh, We're going to do all kinds of things together. 
And I want, I always, here's one of my goals, you guys. I love to help people experience things for the first time. I love that. Why? Because it creates memories. It creates a ripple effect. It creates duplication. You guys know what the word duplication means, right? So it's something that people can take and repeat. So imagine you are someone that you start something that people see and they want to do it too. That means you're a trendsetter. That means, you know, you're a duplicator. You're a, you create the ripple effect that goes on and on and on. And that also is about what we do in Plexus, right? What is one of the biggest things that Plexus does every year? It's convention. It brings people together. You don't have to earn it. Anybody can go to convention. You can be a brand ambassador, a VIP, or a guest. Anybody can go to that event, unlike Leaders Retreat and some of the other things that are offered. But convention is where a lot of us have met for the first time, right? Isn't that fun to be walking through convention or walking into, you know, just around the area and people are like, hey, 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 let's get a picture. You know, how fun is that? Well, how does that happen? is when you create friendships and relationships, even if it's over Zoom or over the messenger or a challenge. I love doing challenges too, you guys. My walking challenges, all types of challenges because people need them and want them. So, you know, I could sit here and talk to you about this all day long, but what you need to do, I encourage you to do this because it's going to make a difference in your life and in your business. If you want to grow your business this year, you need people and you need to attract people to what you're doing. You know, something that recently I realized, and I'm going to just, I'm going to say it, I'm more than Plexus. You know, I have a lot to offer. I love Plexus and people know that by now. At least I think they know that by now. But there's a lot more to me that I want to share and get to know people through all of those different ways to attract them and for them to be a part of, hey, come on over. You know, whether you're doing Plexus right now or, you know, maybe in the future, so, okay, I got to say this. I don't know if my friend Pammy's on here. So we had a community meeting at my house. We called it a community gold school, but I kind of bait and switched them. I'll be honest. I did. I bait and switched. I said, you know, you're really here for a community. We're going to talk about 15 minutes of your business, but listen, you can't have a business without people. So I had somebody here that was not currently, we'll say it was not currently doing Plexus. She had done Plexus before. She's like, oh, you know, it's not for me. Guess who's signing up this week? Cause she needs the Plexus back. Right. So, and then at my sourdough class, I don't bait and switch those people. We don't talk Plexus. We talk sourdough, but I had somebody say, Mel last week, I need that pink drink back. I'm like, okay, let me give you some samples. And I sent her on her way, you know, but still bringing people back around because think about it. The best person for me to join Plexus is the one that comes back. Is Has anybody been a comeback kid, right? So because think about it, they've tried the products, but maybe the time wasn't right. Maybe the, the money wasn't right, but they come back because they know the products work and, or they want to be part of this community again in some way, shape or form. So it's, you know, you don't have to really do a whole lot except for maybe coach them a little bit on their regimen. Cause they already know that consistency is key, but you know, that's the cool part. Cause some people don't stop reaching out and inviting people to things that you're doing, whether it's Plexus or not, because they might feel, maybe they feel embarrassed. Maybe they think they disappointed you or let you down at some point, you know, but don't give up on them. And that's one of my favorite messages too, is thank you for not giving up on me by simply inviting them to something I'm doing. Okay. I want to mention that as well. Have your events, whether they're online or in person, but I am an in-person person. I mean, we are very blessed to have a very large, 
local team and we do a lot of stuff together. We have chats about, you know, what's going on, who wants to go to lunch, who wants to go for a walk. Hey, who wants to do a 5k this weekend, but draw people to you. And how do you do that? You have to invite them, send, share, and invite. Think about that every single day. How can I send, share, and invite people into what I'm doing, we're doing, because people are watching you. And it's so fun, but you have to give them something to watch. Get into your story and talk to people. Talk to people. Let them know what's up. You know, take them through a day. What does your day look like? What, you know, what time does your day start? My day starts at two or three o'clock in the morning, you know, but that's who, that's me. You know, I used to work 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I, my sleep cycles have always been crazy like that. But, you know, I get a lot done at that hour. Now, some of you like Catherine, Lisa, some of you guys are night owls, uh, you know, <laughs> good. That's good. Get it done. But still, when's your next event? That's what I want to know. What are you thinking about doing? Because you've got to start and then you've got to repeat, repeat repeat, repeat, at least once a month, bring people together once a month. And you know what an event, you know, how many people create an event? How many people create an event? One, one person creates an event. One becomes two, two becomes three because they go out and they tell people it's word of mouth. That's your best advertisement right there. No matter what you're doing is people out there talking about, Oh my gosh, I went to this I want you to come with me next time. So get your events on the calendar. Create a walking group or a workout group or a book club or a Bible study or whatever it is that brings people together. Because guess what? People want to feel a part of something. People want to be supported. So my top five, if you were doing any of my business training back last year, there's five things I strive for every single day. And it's to encourage, inspire, motivate, support, and educate every day on my newsfeed and or in my story, my story. And if I'm not in my story, it's been over a year. I started my story consistently last January. Uh, people will message me and say, are you okay? I haven't seen you in your story. I'm like, I'm good. I've been a little busy. I'll get back on there. You know, or they'll say, Hey, I missed you sharing about this. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure I share about that next time, you know, but people are watching. So give them something to watch. Cause you never, ever know what they need. That's going to pique their interest and be like, okay, I'm reaching out to her. It's time. It's time. And guess what? A big part of that is you. You are the attraction. You are the energy. When people say to me, gosh, I love your energy. Gosh, I wish I had your energy. You know what this is from? Just the love of life, you guys. It's it's pure. It's pure passion. I love it. I love it. So put that out in there and attract people to you. And build your community, you know, you don't have to be like me. Please don't be like me because it's crazy town up here. You know, this, this, is, this is a lot of crazy going on up here. This is, this is me. Don't just be you, but have fun, attract people, put it out there, you know, gather, gather people because they, people need community. So does anybody have any questions? Now, someone asked if you would repeat your five things. Oh, five things. Okay, here's my five. To motivate, to inspire, to support, to encourage, and to educate. So every day in your messenger, send five or 10 encouraging messages because you never know somebody needs to hear from you. And I love when people say, how did you know I needed that today? I don't know. I didn't know, but God sure knew that somebody needed that message. And yes, sending messages is for many different reasons. But if, you know, bottom line is, is that everybody needs encouragement. 
everybody needs to be lifted up. And I know that we, you know, as, as business owners, we think, you know, well, somebody probably has 10 messages, but chances, you know, no, they don't. You might be the only message they get, you know, just because our inboxes are always full because right. We're having conversation and building relationships doesn't mean somebody else's is, you know, is full. You might be the only one that invites them to something that encourages them. Um, so don't, you know, think outside the box of the people that need you. They're watching. So, all so right. good, Melody. So good. Now, I, I want to make sure that you are hearing her, that it's not about transactions. It is not about getting products in people's hands. It's about relationships that leads to inspiring transformational life. Mm -hmm. And that happens through connecting and that happens through friendships and that happens through support. And y'all, I went to a sourdough workshop here in Little Rock where I live. A local farm was having one at a local brewery. And I thought, I'm going to go because I'm curious. 50 people were there. 50 people. Nothing to do with gut health. Nothing to do with plexus. But they're seeing this trend and they're curious. So start thinking about ways that you can leverage support in learning something new with people. Other things I've seen posted, not Plexus related, not Plexus people. Local couch to 5K groups are popping up where I live. It's spring is coming. They're like, hey, I, I want to do couch to 5K. Anybody local want to join me? I had a friend that just posted that. She's not Plexus. I know a couple of ambassadors are hoping, hosting a book club right now. There's 50 women all over the country getting together on Zoom once a week for their discussion. Nothing to do with Plexus. Absolutely nothing to do with Plexus. I had another friend post this week about, hey, I used to be in a Bunko group before COVID. It dissolved. Anybody want to play Bunko once a month? She had like 40 comments of women wanting to be in a Bunko group. So I feel like we're coming off this downside of COVID, not being together to I'm ready for friendship and support and community. So creatively think how to expand your network in fun ways where the transformational conversations will happen more naturally. So social wellness club that was launched at Super Saturday. That's what this means. That's what this means. Playing pickleball with somebody. Um, thinking about, I've seen this too, like doing the reset and then meeting for lunch to break your fast together, your first meal following reset and breaking your fast together. So there's all, there's all of these things that you can start thinking, thinking about ways to meet new people and bring community together. And Melody has been doing it much longer than most of us. So I thank you for your input. You encouraged me. And for our prize tonight, drum roll, Super Bowl, it's the big game of the week, year, this Sunday. So drop in the chat who you're rooting for. And if you don't know who's playing, <laughs> I got nothing for you. <laughs> who, who are you rooting for this week? And we'll pick a random number. And don't say Taylor Swift. We're not rooting for Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Melody, pick pick a number between one and 60. 25. 25. Okay. Count down. Uh, out on my screen. I don't know if everybody's looks the same as mine, but one, two, three, four, 22, 23, 24, 25. Lisa Montgomery. Yeah. Okay. Lisa Montgomery, I'll need your address. 